Hi guys, this is Oscar Trejo. Um, I've been using ZBrush since 2010. And today I want to share with you a small trick on how to make your details pop a little bit more on your sculpture. Um, this is super useful, especially for tree printing, because this will make your details more present, more intense, and will make them more visible on your print. So the first thing is we need our mesh finished with a lot of details. So I'm just gonna add some minor details to this creature just to have a little bit more information on the mesh, make it more interesting. So I'm just gonna use the standard brush with the spray stroke and the alpha of the like number seven, I think, yeah. So I'm just gonna add some pores not really that visible it's barely visible so this is okay it's gonna actually be super useful for our trick so once we finished and we have our sculpture with details and we want to make the details a little bit more intense we go to layers we create a new layer and we have to check that it's recording and this is where the fun begins because we we want to get rid of all those details by smoothing the mesh. So by using the smooth brush, we're gonna start smoothing, and we have to be very careful not to smooth smooth too much of the mesh. We don't want to lose the the main shapes. We just want to get rid of the details like wrinkles, like pores, bumps, that kind of stuff. So be careful with the smooth brush. So I'm just gonna smooth this area. Now, um, once we're once you're done, you have to go to layers again. We stop recording. And right here, you have control over the opacity of the layer. So if we take the layer instead of one to zero, which means we have our mesh just as we had it on the very beginning of, of the sculpture without any changes at all. Um, but if we take the number below zero, we will have the effect of having the details more intense. So you can actually see the difference from taking this to zero to minus one. And it's a pretty easy and quick way to get your details more in a more intense way on your sculpture. So if you have like a model that you already finished and you maybe want to make them, um, make the wrinkles a little bit more intense, make um, some stuff on your mesh that will pop up a little bit more, especially for tree printing. This is super useful because you, ju you just need to create a new layer, smooth with it and take the layer into a um, minus one, something like that. So um, hopefully this video was useful for you and happy sea brushing.